Hey guys, uh, what is going on? It is me, King Successful here, bringing you guys the yet another Call of Duty Black Ops 3 informational video. We got a few more bits of information to cover for you guys today, but this is some pretty big stuff we got right now. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and jump straight into it. The first bit of information I got for you guys today is that Theater Mode will be making a return within Black Ops 3. Now, this is really, really important news for everyone uh, that has been a fan of Theater Mode in previous Call of Duty games. It was actually removed after Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Black Ops 2 was actually the last game to have theater mode they removed it in ghosts and they did not have it in advanced warfare they claimed it was due to um the fact that apparently the past gen consoles couldn't handle the new features with theater mode i don't actually know the real reasons behind it but uh, for whatever reason they decided not to include theater mode in the most recent call of duty games but this game is being developed just for next gen consoles so you guys need to remember that so they're going to be able to put a lot more into the game than they have with the previous two games uh and so it will be making a return in here which is really, really Really awesome so this was actually announced last night on a live stream by Mark Lamia and David Vonderhaar they confirmed that theater mode will be making a return in Call of Duty Black Ops 3 for those of you that don't know theater mode is basically a way that allows you to replay all of your previous matches that you've just played in multiplayer and get different camera angle shots this is probably how a lot of the footage in the trailer was actually recorded you can take kind of cool shots like you're seeing in the trailer from like first person stuff you can have it so like the camera follows the person it's really really cool for taking different action shots uh, and also people used to use it for when they wanted to go back and record gameplay another really cool feature of it it's just a really cool tool to use and play around with so i can't wait to test out theater mode in black ops 3 it's obviously going to be really really awesome now the other bit of information i got for you guys today is that the black ops 3 multiplayer will be featuring the return of the pick 10 system there's also some new details on score streets that have also been revealed so black ops 3 multiplayer will feature the return of the black ops 2 pick 10 system which was also an advanced warfare the pick 13 but that included score streets this will not uh the pick 10 will only feature guns grenade selections and also perks score streaks and the new specialist character features which is all this stuff to do with like the mechanical arms uh like the flaming bees and the uh the minigun coming out of the arm and stuff that's all going to be set and apparently those will actually be chosen before each match starts you get to choose each of your score streets before the game starts which is a really interesting style we haven't actually ever seen them do that before uh, and Treyarch is not revealing any more details on that as of now so I'll have to wait until we get more details on that and then also Polygon has received new information regarding score streets in Black Ops 3 apparently some of these score streets that are going to be included include the UAV the RCXD which has now been renamed to the HCXD a hover capable explosive device air support streaks which will include the wraith similar to the hunter killer drone and the mothership which allows three players to control it uh that's a really interesting kill streak. i reckon that's gonna be the big thing it could even be the thing you just saw there i don't know but apparently it's going to be controlled by three different people which is really really awesome there's also the wraps which stands for robotic anti-personnel sentry which is a cluster of rolling explosives and the last streak revealed as of now is the gi unit which is a ui controlled soldier that will patrol or guard a player so basically it's a uh, kind of AI controlled um, player that will actually just you know roam around the map and go and kill enemies for you or he will actually protect your specific character from other enemies which is really really cool indeed I don't know if that will be like in the form of a robot which you guys were seeing in the trailer that would be really cool indeed uh, but for those of you that don't already know Black Ops 3 multiplayer will be playable for all attendees at E3 2015 so more information will be coming soon at E3 which is obviously really really awesome if you are attending Black Ops uh, sorry if you are attending E3 2015 be sure to let me know in the comments session down below because it's really great to know if some of you guys are actually going to get a chance to play hands-on with the game which is really really awesome but for now thank you very much for watching i really hope you guys have enjoyed if you have please be sure to leave a like on this video it would really help me out and let me know that you appreciate the videos uh be sure to stay subscribed for all the latest call of duty black ops 3 information but for now thank you very much for watching i hope you have enjoyed and i'll see you guys on my next video